Hello everyone, Dr. Chappius here. I wanted to talk about a common symptom that I hear about all the time in the office from my patients, and that is a floater. Now, typically my patient will describe it um, as a bug going across their vision or some type of black spot, piece of hair, something, they're not really sure what it is, just going across their vision. It's kind of unexplainable. But what they're describing to me is a floater, which is completely normal in most cases. What a floater actually is, is the shadow of a protein strand that makes up the jelly of our eye called the vitreous. So we have this jelly-like substance in the back of our eye. It's attached to the retina. That's the vitreous. It's mainly made up of water, but there's also collagen and other protein strands. So when light hits one of those strands, it casts a shadow on our retina. And again, we perceive that as a floater. Over time, that jelly will break down, it liquefies and condenses, and that typically, uh, and it will pull away from the retina. And so that typically leaves behind a pretty big floater or multiple floaters. So it's really correlated with age in most cases, um, but anyone can get a floater. So all um, a normal process so far of what I'm explaining, but sometimes a floater could be a sign of a retinal hole, tear, or detachment. So it's always wise to make sure you get your retinas checked when you have a new floater, um, especially if you have a bunch of floaters all at once um, or persistent flashes of light. Those are two signs of a retinal hole, tear, or detachment. So always call right away um, so one of our doctors can evaluate you. We will dilate you, take a good look at your retinas. We can also utilize our Optos camera. So that's a newer camera that takes a really wide field view of the retina. So we can you know, use that to help us uh, document what we see in the retina. Now, floaters, typically two things will happen with a floater if you experience one. They will either kind of stay in place where they're at, um, or they will settle to the bottom of your eye with gravity, so it's out of your line of sight. Either way, the brain is pretty handy, and it can uh, adapt over time. Typically, over the first two or three months after a new floater, your brain can adapt to it, so you don't see it all the time. However, it will always be harder to ignore in certain lighting conditions, where it's nice and bright, like the sunlight, um, or if you're looking at like a white background, you know, that, that high contrast, it's gonna be harder for you to ignore the floater. But typically the brain can adapt, so it's not something you will see all the time, so no worries. But if the floater severely impacts your vision and it's really just not going away, you're not able to adapt to it, there is a surgery that can be done uh, with a retinal specialist or an ophthalmologist that, you know, they can remove those floaters. So that's pretty rare that you need that done, but it is an option. So again, if you have any new floaters, persistent flashes of light, um, please call so one of our doctors can evaluate your retinas. It's crucial to get that checked right away. That you know makes a better prognosis if you get um, that taken care of right away. Otherwise, most floaters are completely normal, so don't panic. And you know, if I ever see a floater when I evaluate you, I'll let you know. Um, and always you know, ask questions if you have any. So we look forward to seeing you in our office soon. I hope you take care. Have a good day.